Hey there, it's Walt, and look who's here. Oh, it's Anne. You haven't joined me on the blog in a long, it's long time. It's been a while. It's been a long while, yeah. So we're talking today about the R word. Yeah, the R word. Oh, no, and I learned one. the R word from, from you, you know? Yeah. When we got together many, many years ago, you were a distance runner, and I was a mountain climber, and you said, if I'm going to do that mountain climbing Caca. stuff... Caca. Okay. that uh, you're going to become a distance runner. And so I ran my first 5K with you about a year after we were married, and I was crippled for, I don't know, for, for days or weeks afterwards. You went, you went out too fast. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, yes. But then I, I was inspired, uh, <laughs> despite that, and um, we decided we would, well, you decided we would train for a marathon, which we did. And you put together this amazing marathon training schedule. Yes, I do. I'm very well known for my marathon training schedules. Well, you are. And, um, and so each day, it was like a calendar. We knew exactly how many miles to run. And, and then there were these days that had R in the little block. Not the R. Yeah, the R. The R. I didn't know what the R was, so I asked you. And you said... R stands for rest rest day i didn't understand i know i didn't understand and 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 you explained to me that rest days were actually kind of important in order to get stronger not just get stronger so you don't want to give up because if you don't have a rest day and you keep grinding and grinding and grinding eventually you just want to give up yeah so anyway we did the rest days and we we successfully ran the marathon and went on to ultra marathon and all that good stuff. But the idea of um, rest days is a pretty important concept. We're not, we're not, neither one of us are good at it. And if you're a high achiever, you probably aren't very good at it either, particularly if you buy into the hustle culture, which I think we're full-fledged members of the hustle culture. Yeah, peak performers are notoriously bad at taking rest and what's true right now is that there's this tremendous weariness um, all around us you know we've been through 24 months of uh, uh, a lot of stress and strain with the pandemic and um, you know now there's so much upheaval in the world uh, and so there's this cultural heaviness this cultural weariness and we're people who hustle we uh, we stay at it all of the time and so now more than ever, taking the time intentionally and mindfully, we're actually um, away from the office. I, I don't know if you could tell that. We're actually away from the office, uh, off the grid for just three days, really. And um, taking some rest uh, intentionally and mindfully so that we can rest and recharge and, and go back and do it all over again. We love the work we get to do in the world. Um, and it's really important to rest. So think about, um, regardless of, of where you are in business or life, think about more intentional use of the R word, the, the R word, the R word, make it a great rest of the day. Great rest of the week. Bye for now. Bye guys.